Hey guys, it's Bo from the Drummer's Guide to Gear here today to do our monthly review. Every month we do reviews on awesome gear. Uh, today's review is actually uh, not on a piece of drum equipment, but a piece of equipment for all musicians. And uh, I love them, and they are mighty bright music lights. Now, uh, here's the story. <laughs> uh, I've been endorsing Mighty Bright since 2008, I believe. Um, earlier that year, uh, I had an accident. I fell off the back side of the stage. I, uh, I fell pretty far and hit my head. Um, long story short, had a lot of injuries, but that was also when I started to lose a lot of my vision was from that. And uh, if you ask my wife, I'm blinder than a bat. Um, so Mighty Bright Lights really helped me. And that year at NAMM, I walked up to the booth and I saw the most gorgeous lights I'd ever seen. They were sleek, um, they were professional looking, and I could tell that they just really did a great job. So I met a guy named Dustin, uh, who's become a really great friend, and, and same with Michael Farley. Uh, I want to thank both of them uh, for having me a part of the family. But um, I was talking to them and building a relationship, and over the years, they've come out with awesome, awesome lights. And I wanted them. And they really, uh, they're great lights. And I'm going to go over my kit here. Uh, this is my touring kit, the kind of rig that I would use on the road. And basically, uh, we're in my studio right now, but I took all my Mighty Bright lights and I put them on the kit as if I were on the road. And basically, I'll go through and I'll demonstrate each light for you and which ones I use. Uh, and there's a lot. And they're awesome. And I'm excited to share them with you. So let's check them out. All right. Over here on my left is the orchestra light. Uh, it's a very great light. You know, I use it on my table. Um, drummers, we, you know, sometimes have a table for sticks, tuning keys, uh, metronome, click track, tape, whatever you might need. Uh, I use mine for sticks and rods and tape and I even got a picture of my kids on there too. So uh, here's the orchestra light. Now, what's really cool is we have a gooseneck, so you can maneuver it any way you want. And it's real heavy duty. It doesn't feel like it's going to break in your hand when you do this. So that's really cool. Now, it has nine LED lights. So basically, uh, we got off, super bright, and then a little less bright okay another cool thing is that uh, my music director um, that I've had in the past really loved about this light and made him want the whole band to have them was the back fin there's a little fin back here that kind of shields the light from the audience view and um, uh, it's pretty you know it's about nine inches long and so it's still you know, pretty small. I mean, way back in the day, you had the bulb lights. They were like that long. It's pretty cool to have something so small. Uh, also, a wide footprint. You can lay it on the floor. I've done that without it falling over. Um, but there's also a little clip. Real heavy duty. And uh, so this one is my favorite of all the lights from Mighty Bright. So this is the orchestra light. It does operate on batteries, but... You can as well get an AC adapter that uh, Mighty Bright sells separately, or uh, the orchestra light comes with it. But should you need an extra, you can buy another. So let's toss this, put this back here. It just clips right on my table. Looks sleek. Audience can't see it, but I'm able to see everything on my table. And it also comes with a gate bag. It's great light. All right, moving on over to my left. Now this is. I kind of got a lot going on here. Um, whenever I use a music stand, uh, I use the uh, Encore light. I have been known to use the Orchestra light on here as well, but, you know, with the light up there, it sits pretty high. And, uh, you know, even though this does have a, a back fin, like, a, like its big brother, the Orchestra light, it's still pretty high, so I like to have the small one up there, so just to make sure the audience can't see the light. But this is the encore, okay? We have six LEDs, okay? Position one and position two. Position one 
less bright. Position two, more bright. And as well, we're on a gooseneck, so you can maneuver it any way you like. Um, as well, uh, it does operate on batteries as well. I believe three, or once again, AC adapter. Uh, and it works really good. Uh, if you need to get a light in a tight space, I really enjoy this one. Um, <clears throat> and uh, it as well comes with a gig bag. And the back pin, gooseneck, and clip. It's really cool. So that's the Encore light. It's one of my favorites. It goes with me everywhere I go. And yes, it comes with a gig bag. In fact, let's open this up and see what all we got in here. Okay. So the gig bag is padded, heavy duty, has a little place to put your AC adapter, little slots for the light and gooseneck, and even has a little pouch up here for you to put extra batteries or what have you. So that's that. Okay. Now, moving on down, sometimes on gigs that I've done, I will have to recharge. That's what the sheet music is for. But we as well will have a full on set list. So basically, set list on the floor tells me what order, and there's my charts on the music stand. I just keep going, I just flip right through them. But sometimes I need to see the set list on the floor. So that's where the hammerhead comes in. Um, <clears throat> this came out recently, and uh, Mighty Bright just now sent this one to me. Uh, I was using a previous model that's no longer made and discontinued. And I loved that one too. And uh, Dustin was talking to me about the hammerhead. And I gotta say, I tried it last night and uh, it's definitely in my top three favorites for my favorite Mighty Bright Lights. But anyway, so let's talk about this, okay? The hammerhead. Once again, we're on a gooseneck, okay? And we have uh, six LEDs, okay? Let's turn it off. Once again, two positions. Bright, a little less bright. Bright, a little less bright, and then off. So I, I tend to have mine on bright all the time, uh, unless I'm told you know the audience can see it. But um, you know we have a little bit smaller of a footprint. So if I'm going to use this one on the floor, I'm going to use it with a light cradle. So that also uh, you can use as well on. Uh, the Encore light, should you need it, just clips right in there, and I got more of a footprint, it's not going to fall over. Uh, and AC adapter, and here's a really cool thing, um, this actually just works out perfect because uh, gaffer's tape is a very expensive tape, and basically what I would do is I would take my set list, for example, and I would just tape it down on the ground. Well, no need for that because I'll just clip it right into the light, and it stays there, it doesn't move light shines it up it's pretty cool so um, they once again I this is brand new to me and I I fell in love with it I really like it um, if you're on a budget uh, this would be the one I would recommend is the hammerhead and anyway moving on and once again that's on an AC adapter okay um, like I said I'm in my studio right now uh, I'm not on a live gig and when I'm on a gig I'm on a riser and generally a lot of times there'll be stairs up to the riser or leading on to, you know, wherever I need to be on the stage. And usually there's a guy shining his flashlight going, hey, hey, you know, go there. Um, but sometimes there's not. And so that's where I use the Duet 2, okay? Now the Duet 2 uh, has the same footprint as the Hammerhead as well as the Encore. And it has a clip as well. So, I mean, if you wanted to clip it onto like a music stand, you could do that. But what I use this for is I actually use it on my riser. Uh, what I'll do is I'll, there, it's like a, be a little graded metal area there. I'll just clip it right on, shine one over here, shine one over there so I can see the stage. Audience can't see them and uh, works perfect. Now, let's talk about it. We're goosenecks again. You know, I'm moving it around pretty violently and it's not going to break. In fact, I've had this one for probably. I don't know, three years, and it's still heavy duty. Still perfect shape too. So let's talk about the lights, okay? Um, we got two LEDs in each of the steps, and there's on, and that's bright. One less, so it's a little less bright, and then off. So let's try that again. On is both lights, super bright. 
hit it a second time, one of them turns off, so it's a little less bright. And then off and on. So, and it's the same over here too as well. Anyway, on, one off, both off. Um, as well, um, runs on an AC adapter, fully two batteries, and yes, you can even use a light cradle on this one as well. Okay, so there's a Duet 2. Now, on some gigs, I'm running samples. Um, sometimes I'm playing tracks. Sometimes I'm just rehearsing and need to use my computer. And uh, one of the things that you'll find, and I know a lot of guys uh, have had to deal with this, is you got your computer there. That's a pretty big window for the audience to see. So what I'll do is I'll turn the brightness down to where I, to where I can kind of see where I'm going. But what that happens is it turns the backlight off on your keyboard. And so that's where the USB light comes in handy. Once again, awesome gooseneck. Still heavy duty, not gonna break. And uh, there's your USB, plugs right into the USB on your computer. Um, I know some studios, they use these uh, on their cons console board deck or whatever they call it, wanna call it, on their desk to operate the mixer, it'll plug in. It's pretty cool, works great there too. And um, I, uh, have even used them on the bus and you know a little cigarette lighter plug it in voila there's a light works pretty cool there's actually a lot of uses for a lot of these lights so let's try this one i'll plug in okay we got two led lights turn it off two super bright and then one off and then off so once again you got two different brightnesses just like on the Duet 2. Another cool one, one of my favorites, is the ever so handy roadie lights. Um, clip it on your keychain. There's actually two models of these. There's a tiny one button, one LED light you put on your keychain, or you've got a carabiner style, which, you know, it's kind of cool. Clip it onto your belt or whatever you need. Um, my tech has used that one. But I generally use this when I put it on my keychain or on my laminate, you know, just walking around backstage, you know, behind the curtain, kind of just hoping to not trip on something. So, yeah, so those are my Mighty Bright Lights. Um, I highly recommend them. I love them. I've used them for years. And uh, I encourage you to check them out. Um, if you go into this year's NAMM show, they will be downstairs uh, in Hope Heath. And uh, go check out the booth. Um, check out MightyBright.com. And uh, you, you'll really enjoy these lights. And if you're a touring musician or a studio musician and need this extra light, these are the lights for you. Uh, they're sleek and black, so they blend into the blackness of the stage. And uh, they're the best lights on the market. And you can even see them in Barnes & Noble as well. So, I mean, they're readily available, or you can find them at your music store that you enjoy shopping at. And, um, yeah. Thanks again to Dustin Cheatham and Michael Farley for having me a part of the family. You guys have saved my life with these lights, literally.